When I hear the words, what's your favourite railway series book? Most people would usually respond with enterprising engines or very old engines, which are amazing books. But I have a different favourite book. A few years ago, I'd say the twin engines is my favourite. But now it's my second favourite. What's my ultimate favourite, you ask? It's Percy the Small Engine. While not the most big or interesting book compared to the rest, I can't help but love it. This book seems to get some hate apparently online because of the drama surrounding its production. This was back when Dalby still did the illustrations. Wilbur Audrey hated what he drew, quoting that Piercy looked like a green caterpillar with red stripes. Dalby, offended, quit after this. I guess this is a good time to give my thoughts on the illustrations. I don't blame Wilbur or Dalby here. Wilbert, as the previous few Derby books looked so good, then you look at this. Ew. I don't blame Derby too much either, as Percy didn't have a basis so didn't have much to go off of. And this may be an unpopular opinion, but compared to how Percy was drawn in the other books, I think most of these are pretty good. That's not to say the book is short of bad illustrations. Like, come on, this isn't Duck. Duck actually has a basis. At least there's no sandboxes on the footplate. And what's with the colours here? It looks like someone put a filter on it. But, for the most part, it's alright. Moving on to the story. They're great. Percy in the scene that reminds you of what Percy is like in the previous books. Duck takes charge as a good segue into Percy and Harold. And then there's Percy's Promise. Which is probably one of my favourite hero stories of the series. It's been done a bunch, but it never gets old. It's also a great way to finish off this book as it shows how much Percy has grown throughout the book and how much of a hero he can be. Duck takes charge and Percy and Harold are great stories which many kids could learn from. Duck teaches Percy how to stand up for himself, then Percy knows what to do when Harold's been a little shit. Yeah, I said it. This video's not for kids. Now let's talk about the characters. Duck's first appearance is here and he makes quite an impact. Shows that he doesn't take crap from anyone and teaches Percy a valuable lesson, which would help him in the next story. James Gordon and Henry deserve a mention. After this book, they're not really mean to Percy ever again, but they still have some growing up to do, as we'll see in future books. And Thomas also deserves a mention. From what we saw in Troublesome Engines, he didn't really trust Percy yet, not really trusting him with his coaches, but now he trusts Percy to look after Annie and Clarabel for him. And finally, we've got the engine of the book, Percy. Percy is also really relatable and has a nice character arc. Starts out young and naive, learning how to stand up for himself, gets promoted to work on Thomas's branch line, then saves the Sunday school. The book sets up many relationships he has with other characters, his friendship with Duck and his rival Rira Harold. Though, to be fair, it's never really brought up again in the books, but it is in the TV show. I'm sure a lot of us can see a little bit of ourselves. In Percy. So yeah, that's why I love Percy the Small Engine. While not as grand as something like Enterprising Engines, it's still really good. Like Thomas the Tank Engine, this book also kind of works on its own. Like Thomas, you don't have to read the other stories to get more details. Everything's here. And Percy's act by the end feels complete. It, while it doesn't have some of the best illustrations, it certainly is one of Wilbert Audrey's finest.